In this video, I'm going to reveal 12 stocks that have consistently increased their dividends every single year over the past 10 years. A once in a lifetime pandemic? No worries. Shutting down the country for months on end? It'll pass. Even talks of a recession, inflation and heightened interest rates haven't slowed these companies down. They have continued to pay and even increase their dividends every single year without fail. We'll be covering 12 stocks today, all of which can be found on the Australian Stock Exchange. Four of these are also dual listed on the New Zealand Exchange. So you'll find these stocks on all the popular trading platforms in Australia and New Zealand. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel down below, but for now, let's get into it. Our first stock is Fisher & Paykel Healthcare, ticket FPH. Based in New Zealand, they are dual listed both in New Zealand and Australia. Over in New Zealand, they are the largest non-bank stock with a market capitalization of over $19 billion. The company designs, manufactures and markets products and systems for use in respiratory care, surgery and the treatment of sleep apnea. The company has over 7,000 staff selling products in over 120 countries globally. The pandemic was kind to Fisher & Paykel Healthcare as hospitals around the world rushed to acquire respiratory equipment. This is reflected in their stock price, which shot up after the first traces were detected in late 2019. Over 10 years, the stock has risen from a little under $5 a share in 2014 to almost $33 today. It had a lull once the pandemic started to seed, but it has seen a resurgence throughout 2024. Jumping over into their dividends, we can see an upward slope for the past 10 years. Before this, the company held the dividends pretty steady between 14 and 15 cents per share from 2006 to 2014. In 2023, the company paid out 48 cents per share, a 2% year-on-year increase. Looking at the current traded price of Fisher & Paykel Healthcare, the stock currently offers a 1.5% dividend yield. As a dual listed stock, you can find them both on the Australian and the New Zealand exchanges. Now we're up to our second stock, which is Northern Star Resources, ticket NST. They are based in Western Australia with a market capitalization of just over 16 billion Australian dollars. Northern Star Resources operate in the mining industry, specifically the development, mining and processing of gold. They operate largely in Western Australia, but also in the American state of Alaska. They have over 3,000 staff, and unique to the mining sector, their stock price benefits when the commodity they mine does too. Gold has had a bumper run over the past 10 years, roughly doubling from where it was in 2014. It isn't a lot as compared to the likes of Nvidia company stock, but for an asset that sits around all day, it's been a pretty good earner for the cautious investor. It has also been a winner for Northern Star Resources, which has seen its stock price rise from $1.77 in 2014 to $14.50 today. That's a compounding return of roughly 23%, so it's certainly been a winner and now trades at its all-time high. Looking at their dividends, asset sales in 2016 and 2020 triggered higher than usual dividend payments for those years. Taking those out, we see an upwards trend since 2012 when dividends started. In 2023, the company paid out 27 cents a share. On the current traded price, Northern Star pays a 1.9% dividend yield. Our third stock is CAR, formerly carsales.com, ticker C-A-R, of course. They are based in Victoria and are an online automotive, motorcycle, and marine classifieds business. Through their brands, they serve several global markets. In Australia, they're known as Car Sales, Korea, NCAR, Chile as Chile Sales, and the US as Trader Interactive. According to their website, 48,000 vehicle dealers use their services, and over 2.2 million vehicles are listed on their websites. They have 2,000 staff, which is lean for a business with a market capitalization of over 13 billion Australian dollars. The company's stock has been a consistent performer having seen substantial growth over the past 10 years. It has grown from $10 a share to over $36 today. Like the other stocks that we've looked at, they've been a great momentum play. Jumping over into the dividends, we can see an upward slope over the past 10 years. The past year has seen a blip, but the outlook remains good with Citibank upgrading their price target to $39 a share and declaring the stock a buy. Based on a 45 cent dividend in 2023, Car offers a 1.2% dividend yield. Our fourth stock is Sonic Healthcare, ticket SHL. As the name suggests, 
Sonic is a Sydney-based healthcare provider. The company is engaged in pathology, radiology, and primary care medical services. Their laboratory arm is the most dominant, with operations in Australasia, the UK, the US, Germany, Switzerland, and Belgium. Their radiology services exclusively operate in Australia, with over 120 radiology centres performing MRI, CT, X-ray, among many other screens. They have a staff count in excess of 40,000 and a market capitalization of over 13 billion Australian dollars. Unlike other stocks we have looked at, Sonic's stock has been a steady performer over the past decade. The pandemic saw them drop to about $23 a share before bouncing up to $46 a share in late 2021. Since then, it has subsided to $27.85 a share, up from $17 a share in 2014. Looking at their dividends, Sonic has consistently paid a dividend since 1994. 2011 was an exceptional year in what was otherwise a 30-year run of consistently increasing dividends year after year. With a dividend of $1.04 being paid out in 2023, a falling stock price has driven their dividend yield to 3.7%. Our fifth stock is Sol Pats, trading under the ticker SOL. Behind the long name, Sol Pats is an investment holding company. Put simply, they invest into and out of a range of investments. They seek to maximize shareholder value, and they invest in companies of various sizes, property, and debt assets. And they are bloody good at it, outperforming the ASX 200 index by at least 3% annually over the past 10 and 20 years. Just a $1,000 investment in 1993, 30 odd years ago, would today be worth over $42,000. As an investment outfit, their staff numbers are only in the double digits, managing a fortune of 12.5 billion bucks. Looking back to 2014, Soul Pats traded at a little over $15 a share. Today, this number is closer to $35. Soul Pats is a must have on this list. Since listing in 1903, they haven't missed a single dividend payment. Since 2000, they have reliably increased dividends year after year without fail excusing a few blips from the special dividends. In 2023, Solpats paid a dividend of 87 cents a share. This represents a dividend yield of 2.5%. Our sixth stock is Mercury NZ, ticket MCY. Another dual listed stock, they trade both on the New Zealand and Australian stock exchanges. Over in New Zealand, they are the second largest electricity generator with a market capitalization of 9.5 billion Kiwi dollars. Mercury exclusively generates renewable energy from hydro, geothermal, and wind sources. In addition to generating and selling electricity, they also retail ancillary services such as gas and broadband internet. The company has over 1,500 staff and has grown steadily over the past decade. In 2014, Mercury had a stock price of just $2.30. Today, it's $6.80, almost three times greater. As an electricity generator, they have managed to squeeze an increasing amount of revenue out of their core business through repeated cost push price revisions. Jumping over into their dividends, if we exclude the special dividends in 2014, 16, and 17, dividends have increased year after year. This accelerated after the pandemic, but was very steady from 2014 to 2020, seeing very modest increases. Taking the 25.9 cents dividend in 2023, Mercury currently offers a dividend yield of 3.8%, based on a current stock price of $6.80. You can find them both on the Kiwi and Aussie exchanges. That brings us to our seventh stock, another Kiwi company, Infratil, ticker IFT. They are based in Wellington, New Zealand, and are listed both in Australia and New Zealand. Like Solpats we saw before, Infratil is another investment holding company, this time concentrated in the global infrastructure sector. They invest in global assets in Asia, Europe, and the United States, and of course, Australasia. Here you can see a list of the companies they've invested in. Between the parent and their subsidiary businesses, they have a headcount of over 6,000 staff. On the New Zealand exchange, their market capitalization is 10.6 billion Kiwi dollars. Their stock has performed relatively well over the past decade, increasing from a little over $2 10 years ago to $11 today, growing by a whopping five times. Looking over at their dividends, Infratil has been a consistent payer since the 90s. The amounts have increased consistently since sometime in the 2000s. Taking last year's dividend per share of 22.23 cents, Infratil has a current dividend yield of around 2%. You can find their stock listed both on the New Zealand and Australian stock exchanges. Our eighth stock is Steadfast, ticket SDF. 
Based in Sydney, Steadfast has been a consistent dividend payer and they've made it into some of my past dividend videos too. They have a market capitalization of 7.1 billion Australian dollars. Steadfast is an Australian insurance broker and insurance underwriting agency operating in Australasia, Europe and Asia. They have over 400 brokerages in Australasia and specialize in insuring a broad range of assets and incidents. Like many other stocks in this list, their stock price graph is similar to the dividends one by increasing bit after bit, year after year. 10 years ago, Steadfast shares traded at just $1.30. Today, they trade for $6.46, a multi-bagger for their lucky investors. What we are interested in though, of course, is their dividends. Since 2014, and perhaps the neatest chart of all the stocks in this video, Steadfast has increased their dividend payment year after year. In 2023, they paid investors 15 cents a share. Based on a stock price of $6.46, Steadfast pays a dividend yield of 2.3%. Up night is Technology One, ticker TNE. Based in Brisbane, Technology One has over 700 staff and a market capitalization of 7.3 million Australian dollars. Technology One, as the name suggests, is an Australian enterprise software company. Like Steadfast, Technology One has appeared in a few of my past dividend videos as well. The company has two sides to it. The first develops the software or the second consults customers on how to use the software. They own many software solutions for businesses that span data analytics, payroll, government, asset management, and financials, among many others. Their revenue and profitability charts are one of the best in the market, steadily increasing year after year. Their stock price is no different, having risen from about $3 in 2014 to $22 today, a multiple of about seven times. Jumping over into the dividends, Technology One has increased their dividend payments year after year. According to the ASX, Technology paid a dividend of 19.5 cents in 2023. Dividing this by its current stock price, we get a dividend yield of 0.9%. Tenth up is EBOS, ticket EBO. Started in New Zealand, now headquartered in Melbourne, EBOS has a market capitalization of 7.3 billion New Zealand dollars and 5,000 staff. It's a marketer, wholesaler, and distributor of healthcare, medical, and pharmaceutical products. They operate several brands throughout New Zealand and Australia some of which you may recognize here. Just as their revenue and profitability charts suggest, EBOS is quickly growing. Just a decade ago, their stock was trading at $9 a share. Today, it's trading at $37.78, over three times greater. Since 2014, EBOS has increased their dividend payouts year after year. In 2023, this amounted to $1.10 a share. Using the latest stock price of $37.78, this gives us a dividend yield of 2.9%. Our 11th stock is Brickworks, ticker BKW. Based in Sydney with over 1,800 staff, they have a market capitalization of 4 billion Australian dollars. Brickworks is, of course, a brick manufacturer with operations in Australia and North America. Interestingly, they also make private investments in property and other companies, such as Sol Pats we covered earlier. So this spices up what would otherwise be a pretty ordinary business. They operate many brands which some of you will be familiar with. On the stock price front, they've been a steady performer, increasing from $14 a share back in 2014 to $26.56 today. Looking at their dividends, Brickworks is a machine, having paid consistently since the 1980s. For about the past decade, Brickworks has increased their interim and final dividend by a cent each year. This means their yield gets better by 0.07% every year based on the current pricing. On last year's payout of 65 cents, Brickworks currently pays a dividend yield of 2.4%. And finally, we get to our 12th stock, AUB. The ticket for this, of course, is AUB. They're based in Sydney and have thousands of staff and have a market capitalization of 3.7 billion Australian dollars. AUB is an insurance broker, much like Steadfast, operating in Australia and New Zealand. They operate under several brands, such as Aust Brokers and New Zealand Brokers, with billions in earned annual premiums. Their stock price has risen over the years, from about $10 a decade ago to $33.73 today. Jumping over to the dividends, they have consistently increased since 2006. In 2023, AUB paid a dividend of 64 cents per share. As a dividend yields, this was 1.9%. So that wraps up this video. Throughout the video, I used the software from Stockopedia. They're a fantastic research tool for stock investors looking for all their data in a single place. They also provide useful research on their own 
and their proprietary stock rank tool to find needles in a haystack as I've shown here in this video. If you are interested in signing up to Stockopedia, they offer a free trial over at their website. You can also get 10% off their annual plans using my link, so make sure to check that out. Make sure to also subscribe to my channel down below to see more content just like this. I've made several videos just like this in the Australian dividend investing space, so make sure to check those out. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.